said one time he did it, and it was the only time he really received an answer. He was in Greece at a monastery that had donated a piece of land for the Institute of Human Understanding and Peace. It was founded on a Greek isle, Crete to be exact, and on the exact location of a terrible battle in World War II where the Nazis landed on the island and the Greek residents fought them with shovels and pitchforks. As you can imagine, the slaughter was terrible. And many Nazis died as well. And on that site to this day, there are two uh, cemeteries on opposing hills. One for the Greeks, one for the Germans. And in the middle sits this institute for human understanding and peace. It was created by a man called Alexander Papaderos. And Fulgum was in Greece at a two-week seminar hosted <laughs> by him. And at the end of what you can imagine was an exhaustive two weeks, Dr. Papadero said, are there any questions? And Fulgham couldn't help himself. <laughs> he raised his hand and he said, yes, I have a question. What is the meaning of life? And everyone giggled and started packing up their things. And Papadero raised his hand to silence the crowd and said, I will answer your question. And everyone sat down. And this is what he said. When I was a small child during the war, we were very poor and lived in a remote village. <coughs> One day on the road, I found the broken pieces of a mirror. A German motorcycle had been wrecked in that place. I tried to find all the pieces and put them together, but it was not possible. So I kept only the largest piece. This one. And he reached into his back pocket and pulled out a small round mirror out of his wallet. And by scratching it on a stone, I made it round, he said. I began to play with it as a toy and became fascinated by the fact that I could reflect light into dark places where the sun would never shine, in deep holes and crevices and dark closets. It became a game for me to get light into the most inaccessible places I could find. I kept a little mirror. And as I went about my growing up, I would take it out in idle moments and continue the challenge of the game. As I became a man, I grew to understand that this was not just a child's game, but a metaphor for what I might do with my life. I came to understand that I am not the light or the source of the light, but light, truth, understanding, knowledge is there. And it will only shine in the many dark places if I reflect. I am a fragment of a mirror whose whole design and shape I do not know. Nevertheless, with what I have, I can reflect light into the dark places of this world, into the black places in the hearts of men, and change some things for some people. Perhaps others may see and do likewise. This is what I'm about. This is the meaning of life. And then he took his small mirror, and holding it carefully, he caught the bright, bright rays of daylight streaming through the window, and shined it on everyone in the room. Fulgham goes on. Much of what I experienced in the way of information about Greek culture and history that summer is gone from my memory. But in the wallet of my mind, I carry a small, round mirror still. Do you have any questions?